Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. The dollarization of Iraq has garnered significant attention, especially with new reports highlighting the country's ongoing efforts to reduce its reliance on the US dollar. A recent report from the International Business and Banking Corporation, IBBC, has shed light on these measures, which have been subtly underway for some time. The television broadcasts across Iraq have been abuzz with discussions about these initiatives, reflecting a broader and more comprehensive strategy aimed at stabilizing and strengthening the Iraqi dinar. This strategic shift is not only about reducing dependency on the dollar but also about fostering greater economic independence and resilience in the face of global financial fluctuations. The process of de dollarization involves several key actions and policies primarily focused on enhancing the usage and stability of the local currency, the Iraqi dinar. According to the IBBC report, the government has been systematically implementing these policies which include regulatory changes and financial incentives designed to encourage both businesses and individuals to prefer the dinar over the dollar in their transactions. These efforts have been complemented by a robust public education campaign, ensuring that citizens are aware of the benefits and importance of these changes. This campaign has recently intensified, with more frequent and detailed discussions on national television, making it clear that the government is serious about this transition. The IBBC report draws attention to significant discussions within the World Bank concerning the exchange rate of the Iraqi dinar. These discussions highlight potential adjustments aimed at bolstering the dinar's value against major currencies, including the dollar. This potential revaluation is seen as a critical step in the broader monetary reform efforts. It reflects a coordinated approach involving both domestic policy adjustments and international financial strategies. The World Bank's involvement and the transparency of these discussions underscore the seriousness of Iraq's commitment to achieving a stable and independent monetary system. The television coverage has been particularly noteworthy as it plays a crucial role in disseminating information and educating the public about these complex financial reforms. Reports have emphasized that these changes are not sudden but part of a long-term strategic plan that has been carefully developed and is being meticulously implemented. The consistent messaging on the news serves to reassure the public and build confidence in the government's economic policies. It also aims to preempt any misinformation or misunderstanding that could arise from such significant financial changes. This educational effort is part of a broader strategy to ensure that all stakeholders, including ordinary citizens, businesses, and financial institutions, are aligned and supportive of the reforms. The clarity and frequency of the information being shared suggest that the government recognizes the need for transparency and public engagement in such critical national issues. By keeping the public informed and involved, the government aims to mitigate any potential resistance or confusion that might accompany these sweeping changes. Furthermore, the reports indicate that these measures are beginning to show positive results. There has been a gradual but noticeable shift in the market dynamics, with an increasing number of transactions being conducted in dinars. This trend is expected to continue as the reforms gain momentum and as public confidence in the dinar strengthens. The educational campaigns are likely to play a pivotal role in sustaining this momentum by continuously reinforcing the benefits of using the local currency and the overall goals of the monetary reforms. The recent emphasis on de dollarization in Iraq, as reported by the IBBC and highlighted in national news broadcasts, represents a significant and strategic move towards economic stability and independence. The comprehensive approach involving regulatory changes, public education, and potential currency revaluation discussions with the World Bank, underscores the complexity and ambition of these reforms. The government's proactive efforts to keep the public informed and engaged reflect a commitment to transparency and collaborative progress essential for the successful implementation of such transformative economic policies. 
the integration of international expertise and domestic strategies further highlights the multifaceted nature of this economic shift. By aligning national policies with global financial standards and practices, Iraq aims to secure a more resilient and self-sustaining economic future.